What is going on guys? Judo Sloth here and look at where my cauldron spawned. Isn't that just typical? The perfect place to rune base designs. So without further ado, let's get rid of it and hope that the next one spawns on the outside of the base. Now I did used to create bases to try and push them to the outside but as you see here the obstacles now spawn directly in between things so they are a little less effective than they used to be. And this builder is loving life right now. He can finally show off his skills to the ladies. And it appears to have worked. Grab your coat, builder. No, wait. Where is she going? Go after her, builder. What are you doing? Ah, oh, looks like we need to teach these guys a thing or two. Now, moving across to the war we have with our mini account, you'll see that we are in a very close war right now, and it has been really entertaining. However, if we look across to the enemy side, you will see that we still have a star left to pick up lower down on their number 8, so that should give us a definite advantage. I'll quickly share with you my replay on number 7, which was a cleanup attack, and we knew that there were Teslas in between each of the mortars, so there were obviously giant bombs by the cannon there. Best way to take that out is with a couple of sacrificial hogs and I put them in side by side so that they would split up towards the archer towers and it couldn't have worked out much better than that. Another hog down the bottom will ensure that I get the castle lure and then I'm just going to draw it out to the side. Now I must admit this was very sloppy because I hadn't taken out that builder's hut so my barbarians that I would, was dropping did not fully distract the dragon at all times and I did lose a wizard. From there, with two giant bombs already down, I'm going to aim to just keep my hogs all together and put them in in front of them troops there so that they can still be used for cleanup. In they come from the bottom, just a couple initially to test for the other giant bombs since we don't know where it is, and then the rest will come in and it's just a case of monitoring my heal spells. There was a lot of defences in that initial proximity as well as that wizard tower, so I put a heal in quite early. Then if we look at the two sets of hogs that split up, there's a lot of point defences and that wizard tower at the top, and it looks like there's the biggest group there, so I put the heel at the top there as well. And then the third one I'm going to save because I noticed the group of hogs at the bottom was getting a bit scarce. And there's also quite a few defences on that right side for the hogs to get through, so I wanted to have another heel spell for there, especially again with the wizard towers. Also put my king in on that side to try and distract some of the fire, like I've mentioned to you guys before, there's no point in having a king walking around with full health. You might as well use him to distract some of the defences and take some of the damage in order to help your other troops get through the base. Now the enemy king is still down there battering on my hogs and once they get through the final defence they're going after him. But he knows the score and he is bouncing. He is getting out but he's no match for my hogs. And then from this point it is all just clean up so we'll speed through this bit. I hope you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel using the button on the right for more Clash content, and if we head back to the war map, you will see that we did get that extra star, and victory was ours. Now guys, if you want to join me for war, anybody is welcome so long as you give it your best. Details are on the screen now, come and join us for one or two wars and hang out for a bit, or you can stay on a bit more of a permanent basis if you wish. We'll explain a lot more of how we do things once you've joined, just make sure to put in the message that you've came from my channel. This has been Judo Sloth, and until next time, peace out guys. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.